Kaboom! Hey, what's going on, folks? Ty here, Bench Clutter Media. So I wanted to respond to a story that came out today. If you didn't see it, Wells Fargo uh, announced that they are getting rid of a very popular product they have, which is their personal line of credit. And it's one of those things where you you essentially, as a customer of Wells Fargo, you can, you can depending on your credit, right? You can get just a personal line of credit to use to pay down debt, to buy things or whatever with, you know, uh, relatively aggressive interest rates, but we all know that what that means, right? But they got rid of that and it, and it's kind of stirred up things in the financial world because it was completely unexpected. But for those, and, and there's a parallel here to the hobby here in a second, but I wanted to make sure you knew about it because I think it's an important sign of kind of where things are going in the financial markets and really in the overall general economy because Wells Fargo obviously sees something happening. They're seeing more than likely that those lines of credits are getting them in trouble. And they were probably seeing an uptick in, in, in delinquencies and folks not able to, to pay those down. Or maybe they were seeing a rapid rise in people taking advantage of those and exceeding or, or getting close to caps on credit limits. And that's important because as we look at the pullback in the hobby, and I just pulled the numbers um, earlier today, the, the latest 90 days we're seeing market cap. So when I look at a market cap, I look at, so I pull the top 200 cards in every sport. I've done this for a long time. If you look at any of my past videos, um, I do it myself. I don't use any of the 50 tools out there. I just do it myself to make sure I, I have a good vibe on what's happening in the hobby. But Market cap is their main rookie card multiplied the pop by the population of that card multiplied by that value of that card and it creates a market cap, right? So if you have a card, let's just say it's a uh, uh, Mike Trout's, you know, 2011 tops update PSA population of $5,406, $3,100 value right now that that market cap would be about $16,700,000. Okay. So anyway, I pull market caps for all of these and I track them over a daily, a weekly and a monthly average. And over the last 90 days, market caps in baseball are now down about 32%. Market cap in, in basketball last 90 days is down about 28%. And market caps are interesting because you, you tend to see that fall uh, it trails kind of the average prices a little bit because you're seeing population of PSA 10s go up, like they're increasing every week. And so that helps kind of pad the market cap. But when you're seeing the market cap drop 30% in 90 days, 8% over the last 30 day or last 30 days in, um, in basketball and 12% over the last 30 days in baseball. But here's the kicker. You're seeing values of cards. The average value of a PSA 10 rookie card drop much faster, almost down 40% in 90 days in baseball, almost 14% in 30 days. That's on average. And in base basketball, you're seeing a 39% drop in average uh, PSA 10 rookie cards and a 9% drop in, in the last 30 days. So all that to say... This is, this is really, I think a lot of this has to do with the state of the economy right now. And we talked about this with PSA, where I, my theory on that was, I think they shut down uh, submissions because they were afraid of getting caught with holding a bunch of cards that would not be paid for because their business model allows people to submit and not pay. And now... I think that's going to play out probably just like I said. I think you're going to have thousands, hundreds of thousands of cards not being paid for. And now when you see like banks, top four bank, pull out of the whole credit market, personal credit market, and say, you look, I, we don't think the financial stability is good enough, strong enough for us to issue personal lines of credit to people, um, that will trickle down into, into discretionary hobbies like sports cards. Um, 
And that will start to affect credit cards and it will start to affect other banks where I think you're going to see credit lines either are decreased or you're going to see, um, I've heard stories already of credit cards already just kind of being canceled saying, Hey, we're deciding to go ahead and, and, and remove you as a client. Um, Discover's done that a few times. I've heard, I've heard Chase has done that a few times. Uh, and again, that, those are just scatter reports that I've seen across boards and stuff. So just be aware of that. And, and I say that because we're entering a time where the, obviously the market's pulled back, but also lots of us are going to the national and it's so easy to fall into that trap of going and spending money, 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 and thinking that you're somehow accumulating value where I think we're going to continue to see a lot of value eroded in the sports card market over the coming months. And uh, I'm just reminding you, you know, obviously this is a hobby for some of you, it's a business. Um, just be very wise in how much you extend yourself, um, especially in light of news like we just saw with Wells Fargo today. Um, it will impact the hobby. It may take a couple of days, a couple of weeks, whatever, but that type of stuff is stuff that we should view as precursors to additional kind of tension inside the hobby. So anyway, I wanted to react to that real quick because that's how I like to think about things in light of uh, what we all do. Um, so hopefully that helps. Love to know your comments below and what you think and uh, enjoy the hobby palooza this weekend. All right. See ya.